New information about Fortnite Season 2 just dropped, revealing tons of weapons, upcoming collabs, and the return of everyone's favorite, the Pump Shotgun. It's officially coming back for the first time in Chapter 4, and it'll have a redesign to celebrate. But we've also got news about the Battle Pass, more specifically, every skin just got leaked. Page 1 has this lizard guy from the Cypher Quest, who will have a knife emote and a music pack. Page 2 has a cell shaded girl with 3D glasses and an awesome outfit. Next is a skin people have been wanting for months. It is this holographic samurai outfit, and I can't wait to see how the gal head looks in game. That leaves us with a goth bunny skin and a drift remix. I know it doesn't look like drift from the concept art, but leakers assure us it'll be very different in game. Finally, the last two skins will be a warrior with water powers, and the tier 100 outfit of season 2 is this guy in a tuxedo. Kinda looks like a Valorant character or something. Yeah, it's the first battle pass with no collabs, except for the secret skin, who's revealed to be Eren Jaeger from Attack on Titan, which is, you know, no big deal, it's not like gonna break the internet or anything. But that's not the crossover that has people talking right now. The Mandalorian Season 3 just dropped, and to celebrate, Fortnite is bringing two new characters to the game. At the moment, it's a mystery, but the first skin is codenamed Plot Twist, which could mean Anakin Skywalker is about to release. He's joined by an outfit named Sears Vine, which could be Cal Kestis for the launch of Jedi Survivor, or even Admiral Akbar. but I know we're all hoping to see Ahsoka. It's not just skins, it's also going to be the biggest Star Wars event since Chapter 2, adding new lightsabers, and wait for it, Force Powers. We'll actually be able to strike friends with lightning, pull and push things, and even rip items apart. Better be an LTM because it sounds like Fortnite's gonna be broken for a while. Now luckily, we'll be able to fight them off with a new katana. This ain't a pickaxe or a mythic, it'll be an actual melee weapon like the swords in creative. Hopefully there's some special features, but those can be reserved for the new smart pistol. This is a season 2 item that Titanfall players will find familiar. In that game, it locks onto dozens of enemies and shoots them all at the same time. And now I don't think Fortnite would go that crazy, but we do know this weapon will lock onto enemies. We just got a way to find out how powerful it'll be. But it's not as mysterious as the upcoming explosive item that sounds like a game changer. It's called the Rope and Chains Grenade Launcher, which is a super vague name, but my guess is that it'll fire a cluster of grenades that are all roped together, kind of like the chain shot in a Sea of Thieves. Things get even weirder with the big wheel grenade, and I can't even think what this could be, but it sounds similar to the Ripsaw Launcher, maybe just with explosives. So that brings us to Season 2's POIs, because you're probably wondering what'll happen to the map next week. I don't want to get you too excited, but we know of at least six new POIs coming to the game, and it all starts with the Rift Gate and the huge red crack it'll open in the sky within a few days. The crack is set to transform into a new POI called Loot Island when the season drops, and it'll be a location that you could teleport to using the Rift Gate. Then there's code names for other POIs like the Dojo and Zen Garden, which sound pretty relaxing. Next up, we have Neon City, which is a major POI that'll probably be as big as Neo Tilted. It'll include a small gym, a store, and an AC, which whatever that means. I also love the sound of another location that's codenamed Cyber Dragon. I mean, could it be an internet cafe, or are we literally about to get a robot dragon on the map? What I do know is that the Attack on Titan collab is more than just Aaron Jaeger. It's gonna bring a new ODM gear mythic to the game, and we just got info about it that has me more excited than ever. There's three code names being used for the crossover, Drybox, Bay Crab, and Nike's Glass, which seems like nothing, but wait until you hear what they're for. Drybox will be the drops you can find the ODM gear in, Bay Crab is the gear itself, while Nike's Glass is the fuel that powers the grappler. You wanna know about this because the files reference highlighting players, dealing damage by attaching onto them, and best of all, we'll get to use Thunder Spears. Anyone who doesn't watch the show, Thunder Spears are basically rockets that attach onto the ODM gear, and it's used to blast even the strongest Titan into pieces. I mean, imagine this against Peely. And so while you swing around, there's going to be extra movement features to try out as well. Of course, we already know that wall running has been confirmed for Season 2, but there's a new feature that nobody expected, and that'll include wall kicking. I wonder if this means we'll get to jump off a wall and karate kick someone. I mean, technically, we kind to already do that with sliding. But there is something way cooler on the horizon, which is yet another collab confirmed for next season. Resident Evil 4 Remake drops on March 24th, and Fortnite has already prepared for the launch. Leon S. Kennedy is arguably the most popular character from the series, and he is finally coming to the shop this month, joined by Claire Redfield. We've been waiting for this for years, but still not as long as skateboards, and it turns out Epic might have just cancelled them. It looks like they've been scrapped, but we just learned there's a replacement, and it might actually be cooler. Season 2 will feature a rail grinding system, kind of like Infamous and Sunset Overdrive. No boards needed, just perfect timing and your feet. It'll give you a speed boost and even low gravity after you jump off the rails. The best part, there's an upcoming reality augment that'll make it super overpowered. It's called Grind Rail Heal, and it'll literally regenerate your HP. It's not the only perk coming in Season 2. In fact, 15 of them just got leaked, teasing abilities like Smooth Sliding and the Slap Medic. And even that's still not as exciting as the return of a classic POI from Chapter 1. With the rumors of a dojo and Zen Garden, 
Gordon, it is no surprise that Lucky Landing is making a comeback. Kind of explains why lanterns have been appearing on the map this week, not to mention that random patch of bamboo. Now, this new location won't just bring a cool aesthetic either because it'll include exclusive features. Neon City will be full of futuristic vehicles. We can see classic cars like the Taxi and Whiplash get a much needed upgrade. All new paint jobs will be added to them with colors like Seafoam and Deep Blue. And who knows, they might even be able to fly. More importantly, there's also going to be futuristic motorbikes that were originally teased in a loading screen last year. Now, the best form of transport won't be a vehicle. It'll actually be the return of Slipstreams. Neo Tilted's version was great, but they needed some upgrading, and that's where Neo Tokyo comes in. It'll have glowing mobility tubes that you'll be able to slide around in. Well, maybe it's not as popular as the pump. There are still fans out there for the Ranger Assault Rifle. I mean, yeah, it's a cool weapon, but thankfully, it is getting a redesign in Season 2 to fit the whole cyberpunk theme. Hopefully, it'll be a little better, though. Now, there is one person who won't make it because leakers have revealed Lil Whip's fade. Just like Beely exploding in Chapter 2, we're going to see Lil Whip getting annihilated in next week's trailer, so prepare yourselves for the funeral. He's not the only NPC you should visit, because soon there will be rift encounters that bring exclusive characters to the map. They're called specialists and will provide services that could make or break your game. Right now, the four classes are medics that'll follow you around and heal, supply, which tops off your ammo, heavy, which provides shields, and scout that marks nearby enemies. Crazy 8, Neuralink, and this Cyber Peely will also appear on the island as NPCs because, I mean, they fit the theme perfectly. They are practically the mascots of Neo Tokyo. Surprisingly, the codename for Season 2 isn't Future or something obvious. It's actually Radical. Not exactly sure what that means, but I do know these code names are more important than ever. In the Season 2 files, there's mysterious skins called Mizuki, Thunder, and Stray. And if you look at the translated messages in the Cypher Quest, they say things like, Every fox has a stray, Thunder never strikes the same place twice. Confirming Fox Clan will make an appearance. Now, they'll play a big part in the storyline quest for next season. The Oathbound challenges have been interesting, and it's been fun following the Rift Gate, but it's time to move on to a new story, and that's where these quests come in. Evidently, part one will feature interacting with a data receiver, going to a kiosk, and analyzing a tamper computer. So at least there's no spoilers. And while running around and doing tasks sound like a ton of effort, the new movement should make it a little easier. Double jump is still in the works, which will let us do a front flip in the air and get twice as high. Not to mention hill scrambling. That'll bring an end to sliding down cliffs and actually let us climb them up. But all of this, this entire video won't be as game-changing as first person. As we know, Epic accidentally dropped this feature early a few weeks ago, and it was way too polished to be a glitch. This thing is in the works and could release either next week or in the middle of season two. I'm desperate to get my hands on it because flying around with ODM gear would be ridiculous. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Tommy. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what leaks you're most excited to see. As a huge Attack on Titan fan, I think you guys can guess where my heart's at. Anyways, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.